Hey, Justin Miller here with VizRT. Thanks for joining me at IBC. So uh, today I want to talk to you about our all new TriCaster Vision. Uh, so of course, this is our new successor to the VMC1 and the TriCaster 2 Elite. Uh, it's going to be a 44 input switcher, eight outputs, uh, and we're going to offer it in two different types of configurations, which is amazing. So the first system is going to be a one RU rack mounted system. We can do completely IP or we can introduce a matrox card for up to eight SDI spigots, for 12G capable and independently configurable. Uh, the other offering is going to be an HP tower uh, where we can do zero, eight or 16 SDI spigots. Uh, so it's entirely preference. Normally the one RU is going to be living in a server rack because uh, that's a lot of active cooling, whereas the uh, the HP tower can live out in your control room or your control station. So, uh, taking a look at the interface itself, uh, it's going to be very similar in look and feel as any other TriCaster you've come in contact with. However, once again, it's going to have eight of these mixed-spec buses. We're going to have up to four layers on each of those, plus the four upstream gears. We still have four DDR bins for content playback, the built-in teleprompter, audio mixer, and of course, we're going to expose all of those audio channels for all of your video sources as you've become accustomed to. Uh, some new bells and whistles that were introduced, however. We have the all new input configuration panel, which makes show setup a breeze. So I can on the fly come in here and indicate, okay, anything that's in my NDI sources, anything that's in my alphabet soup of IP, so I can be NDI, RTSP, RTMP, SRT, I can select those here, map it directly to an input, rename them, and we're off to the races. So it takes only a matter of minutes to get show ready. Another all new feature is the ability to influence what keyers are reflected on your mix outputs. Uh, so this is an excellent resource for, let's say, uh, multilingual streams. So I can come in and I can have Mix Effect Bus 1. I can have my regular NDI feed for Mix Effect Bus 1 with all of my keyers on it as it's presented. And then I can mirror that in my mix here. And so that allows me to say, for example, Mix 2, I want to have layers 3 and 4 on. Mix three, I want to have the first one on, mix four, second one on, individually uh, addressable. And then I can map those to individual streaming encoders. I can record them independently uh, so they have the appropriate keys layered over that output. A couple of other AI-driven features that will be introduced uh, by launch. Uh, we're going to have gaze detection, uh, which will allow for presenters that maybe aren't the most confident or they're reading a, a prompt that is way off screen from the camera. It'll emulate that they're looking and blinking and just going right down the barrel of that camera. Uh, the other feature that will be coming is an advanced chroma keying algorithm uh, that we're pulling from our already successful Viz engine line and introducing the TriCaster. The first time ever that we are empowering users to use that in the TriCaster line. So it's all very exciting. Remember to live your vision this year. And of course, if you have any questions, please reach out to your Digibox representative for more information. Thanks for joining me.